Ben Grandchief Ed John for his election as chairman of the 11th session of the UN Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. The North American Caucus recommends the United Nations confirm that the doctrine of Christian discovery is factually, legally, and morally wrong. This is partly based on the preamble of the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, which states in part that all doctrines, policies, and practices based on or advocating superiority of peoples or individuals on the basis of national origin or racial, religious, ethnic, or cultural differences are racist, scientifically false, legally invalid, morally condemnable, and socially unjust. The North American Caucus calls upon the United Nations to declare that the doctrine of discovery is illegal and cannot be relied upon by state governments in lawmaking, policy development, or in litigation. The North American Caucus recommends that the permanent form safeguard and promote indigenous people's sovereignty and the European-derived legal frameworks in its work on the doctrine of discovery. The North American Caucus recommends the permanent forum should be encouraged in cooperation with state governments to undertake a complete and comprehensive study on the effects of the doctrine of discovery on the lands and territories of indigenous nations and peoples. The North American Caucus recommends that the permanent forum conduct a comprehensive study of the use of the doctrine of discovery by states as an underlying basis for state policies, practices, and laws a study convened to discuss in detail the findings and global implications of the preliminary study of the Doctrine of Discovery and to present its findings to the Permanent Forum on Indigenous Issues. The, Mr. Chairman, the North American Caucus recommends that Indigenous peoples push forward to take this framework of analysis to the next level and encourage an expert group meeting to examine the effects of domination on Indigenous peoples. The North American Caucus recommends that a comprehensive panel of legalists and jurists be assembled to review all actions under the Doctrine of Discovery. The North American Caucus recommends that the UN Permanent Forum urge states to repeal laws, policies, and processes based on the Doctrine of Discovery. We recommend that the intergenerational impacts of the Doctrine of Discovery on indigenous children be taught in schools and that there needs to be educational opportunities to be informed uh, on the doctrine of discovery so that young people have an opportunity to resist and refute the doctrine. We call upon the permanent forum to recommend that appropriate UN bodies embark on an educational campaign on the doctrine of discovery. Mr. Chairman, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling Johnson v. McIntosh referred to the extravagant pretension of converting the discovery of an inhabited country into conquest thereby claiming on the basis of that pretension underlying title to indigenous lands and territories. We absolutely reject the idea that indigenous nations and peoples are conquered. For this reason, we recommend that the term conquest not be used by the permanent forum in a manner that suggests or implies that conquest has in fact occurred and that indigenous nations and peoples have been conquered. Mr. Chairman, the original free and independent existence of each and every one of our nations and peoples and our cultural and spiritual relationship with our territories long predates any assertions or claims of a right of discovery or domination by the monarchies and nations of Western Christendom during the 15th and later centuries. Our original free existence is the source of the sacred birthright bequeathed to us by our ancestors traced to the beginning of time. Our sacred relationship with Mother Earth and the sacred laws of each of our nations and peoples is the basis for our declaration that we shall forever be rightfully free of any and all assertions or claims of dominance by states that trace their political heritage to a long succession of empires from Europe. The following quote from the inter Papal Bull of 1493 unequivocally expresses this structure of domination and subordination. Sub dominio actuali temporali alicorum dominorum Christianorum constitute non sint, and refers to lands that had at no time been under the actual temporal domination of any Christian dominator. Evidence of this connection in the Canadian context is found in the ruling Delgamuk versus British Columbia, 
from 1997, which is regarded as the leading decision of the Supreme Court of Canada, where the court made its most definitive statement on the nature of Aboriginal title in the context of the assertion of British sovereignty and the assertion of Crown sovereignty. Our research reveals that Canada's assertion of sovereignty and Crown title is based on the doctrine of Christian discovery and domination, which is implemented through a policy negotiation framework and the comprehensive claims and self-government policies with the objective of extinguishing Aboriginal rights. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.